This could be the end. Yesterday, I drove up this really long, very uphill road, and I was driving uphill through the canyons before that anyways to get from Cedar City to Zion. I just drove up here to have somewhere to sleep, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and if Yuki's completely dead, then it's been worth it, and this has been a beautiful end destination. Oh, I can't even say that. I haven't considered this. Worst case scenario, her head gasket blew. Better scenario is just like a, a radiator hose. Either way, the coolant is completely depleted. Uh, I parked yesterday after driving and I just heard this bubbling and this gushing underneath the passenger side of coolant. Well, at first I thought it was maybe because I was running the AC for a second. I wasn't running the AC the whole time. Like I'm very, like I don't really run the AC because I don't want to cause any more problems, even though it's really, really hot. But I was running it for a short time because I was overheating badly. But all I know is that the coolant is incredibly low. And uh, after that, she started, the engine started overheating a little bit. So I just, I parked here. I'm like, we're gonna have a good night. I'm gonna look at these beautiful views. I'm gonna enjoy this. And now it's the next day. And I just feel just almost sick to my stomach. And I just wanna cry. Even if she's fixable, I'm still a bit emotional because as gorgeous and amazing being alone is all the time. It's just like, to sh I wanna share this with other people, you know, it's just like so cool. All I have is Yuki. And this is just the reality of my weird lifestyle. I'm just a little overwhelmed as usual. We have to problem solve and figure this out and it's okay to have emotions, but it still has to be figured out. This is where it was leaking yesterday. It was coming, just pouring down from here. Um, It's still in there. It's not. Please call. Okay, so I wasn't able to call anyone, but I was able to text a mechanic and they're actually ones that come out to you. I thought that I was done with this for a second. Oh, I think another reason I'm just like emotional and anxious, it's almost my birthday. And I wanted this year to really celebrate my birthday because I don't ever. <laughs> and I realize I'm gonna be alone for my birthday. Who knows what, where I'll be in a week. Before we get too much in today's video, I wanted to talk about today's sponsor. And today's sponsor is Surfshark VPN. A VPN is a virtual private network that encrypts all the information sent between your device and the internet to protect data. With this, I can protect my data while I'm traveling around and going from hotels to coffee shops using Wi-Fi everywhere across the world. I'm kind of putting myself at risk because public Wi-Fi is a gold mine for hackers. Also, I can change my location using the VPN to access better flight deals or just region locked content that I can't get in my country that I'm currently in. I highly recommend having a VPN while you're traveling or even just for everyday use. You can use my code Victoria and get three months for free. Also, if you don't like it, there's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you don't really have anything to lose. So check out the links below and big shout outs to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video. I'm very grateful. Now let's get into the adventures. It's not, it's not a float head gasket. I was accepting my fate. I, I was trying to make a whole plan in my head and that's what I usually do to problem solve. I think of the worst case scenario and then say, okay, then what? What am I gonna do? Uh, the, the, the cap to the radiator does need replaced, but that's like the most minor thing. I can probably continue on. This isn't the end of my road. This is what my life is like a lot. It's, it's like anxiety and beauty and stress and sadness and loneliness and happiness and aloneness in a great way and confidence and character building and all these things and you don't get the one without the other. So. Dark spark plugs and I've been wanting to get kind of like a tune-up anyway so we replaced all the spark plugs the cords uh, the radiator cap and the something else uh, or something so she's gonna run much better uphill I have to figure out where I'm going next Yes. 
watering my succulent. Um, I got the radiator replaced. So I got the radiator cap and the radiator replaced. I thought it was just the cap. No. But today it is not leaking anymore. It is such a relief to be able to drive and the coolant doesn't spill out everywhere. I can't tell you how stressful it is for that to be happening. The mechanics were amazing. They drove all the way out to me both times and charged me a very fair price. I'm very grateful for that. Nonetheless, it has set me back financially a lot. In the past less than a month, I've spent over $2,500, $2,500 on this Jeep. So I know it's necessary, you gotta pay to play, but I, I just hope to recover from this. I need to continue moving on because um, it's getting too hot down here. <laughs> so I was thinking of going more north and I was trying to think of where, but before that I have to go through the hottest place in America. Death Valley. I'm in uh, Las Vegas, I think, right now. I just gotta get out of here. Doing something symbolic here. I, um, I've had this black hoodie, which is my comfort. It says trash on it, and this is black hoodie. It's like really, really big, and it's lightweight enough to wear whenever I want to feel like I'm hugged by a blanket. But I don't like that it says trash on it because it, it's like I'm not trash. And the whole idea behind it was like it was this raccoon brand, so it's about like raccoons and the trash and stuff. But I just never really like the trash, and I've had this for so long. And it's just very comforting to me. It's one of those pieces that, you know, you just don't get rid of, you can't because it's like comforting. So at the mall the other day, I went and tried to get another black hoodie. Um, so I did get one to replace it. And it's not the same and I don't like it at all. The hood's too small, it's, it's tighter, it's not as big, but I already spent $10 on it. <laughs> it was on sale. So I have to get rid of this one and it makes me very sad uh, because like I said, I don't have a lot of comfort things in this life of mine, but I, I just don't want to be associated with trash you know, because I'm not, I'm valuable, life is beautiful and blah, blah, blah. So trash goes in the bin. But it's really sad for me because like, I'm like, why? I don't have to get rid of it. I could just keep it, throw that away. And if I need a hoodie, I'll just wear this one. And I'll have to cut this open more so it doesn't choke me. I'm very particular about things that I keep. Let's go to Death Valley. Whew. Here, uh, headed to Death Valley. It's really hot. Where's hard to go? It's it's the midday hotness, and I'm going to actually one of the lowest hottest places in this, the country. So it's probably a bad idea. Will I survive? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm so confused. So I'm here at Death Valley, and I admittedly. I'll admit it, you guys know this already, I didn't really study research much about how to get in and stuff and that there's not going to be any service and also that there's no gas stations anywhere. Apparently I think you're supposed to pay so I'm going to go to this kiosk and see what that's about. I have no cell service and I also don't know how to pay even for the park or if you have to. I don't, I'm so confused. It's bad planning on my part. Don't come after me. It just is what it is now and we're here in the desert and the desert is desolate in California now though. You can see why they call this Death Valley. It'd be very easy to die here. The temperatures, there's warning signs for the extreme heat. I'm gonna try and climb up this point place because this is where I found some cars parked, so. I'm just really wondering where they're getting gas. Like, I'm sure they plan better than me. This is absolutely terrible. I don't know why anyone is willingly going here. It's not. <laughs> it's cool rocks though, but this is too hot for me. These people are crazy. I mean, I came here too, but not for this. I need to get out of here. How are you running, sir? You are crazy. It's like a hundred degrees. What? I, what? No. I'm so 
sweating so incredibly badly. I've been in hot places, but this is a whole another level of hell. Oh God, this was a mistake. I shouldn't have come here. I knew it was a bad idea, but I thought it would be it funny. I don't know. Well, I'm here at the sand dunes, the place that I wanted to go to in Death Valley. It's very windy, but it doesn't help anything because it's, it's almost like wind from a fire. It's like hot wind. It's like it comes to dry out your whole soul, but I'm like really sweaty at the same time. It's, it's a weird, hellish feeling. And also I think all the sand is getting blown around a lot too. I don't think I want to take this camera because it will get in the lens. This Death Valley is massive. It doesn't end at any time soon. I don't like to complain. That's not true, I love to complain. But this is complain worthy. I feel sick. I think I'm getting heat stroke. I have been hydrating, but. Out here, you have to, there's signs telling you you have to turn your AC off. Otherwise your car, car will overheat. And this is really testing the new radiator I have in Yuki because uh, she was just having overheating problems. So this is probably the worst place to go for a Jeep as this, but she's holding up and pulling through. I stopped for a while because she's overheating just a tad and I don't wanna, you know, I just wanna keep, keep her engine okay. So I'm just giving her a little break, even though sitting here in the sun is, I don't think helping anything. At least there's a little bit of airflow that's flowing through everything. Uh, I can now say that I've been here, but it's definitely not a place to go whenever it's this hot. And this isn't even in the midst of the summer. This is the beginning of the summer. This is still May. So I can't imagine the temperatures that this get this place gets to. There's no cell service. This is not the type of place that you want to break down. And also I couldn't even pay with my card because I'm having fraudulent charges on my card. So they froze my card. So I could only get enough gas with the little bit of cash that I had left. So there's just a series of, of unfortunate events. Maybe this is a little hell before. Maybe something really cool is going to happen. But as we go more north, I feel confident that um, things will be cooler. <laughs> I made it out of hell. And now I have no idea where I'm at. I had just been driving and driving until I had service again. I'm somewhere in California. Um, I see water over there, but I don't know what water that is. Like, I have no idea where, I don't know what name this place is, but I finally got service so I can look up a campsite around here. has been a day, but in the end, it turns out to be glorious. Cause I found this camp spot. Now this was actually really hard to find and I had to drive around a lot. Usually with the disp dispersed camping sites, you can find them online and there's lots of different places you can park and stuff. And that's how it was supposed to be here. But it seems like they're cutting off all the campsites all around here. So I drove around in up and down over landing in all these dirt roads, trying to find one that wasn't closed off and wasn't taken by somebody else. And I actually found, I think, the most epic spot. <laughs> we did it! It's fine. And everything works out at the end. And I'm so happy because now it's like cooler. Once the sun goes down, I know it's gonna be really nice and cool to sleep. I'm gonna get really good sleep tonight. I have sand everywhere. get down to 54 which is not bad and we'll have a nice breeze for the night as well so I'm very happy about that
lake up here. So gorgeous, especially in the shade, it feels magnificent. The temperature is perfect, perfect. Oh, so many like rocks to climb on. Absolutely exquisite. Just being able to see this, and this is so grateful. Like, I know I sound so excited because I am. <laughs> I, I don't want to leave these places, but I also like need to keep moving on because you can only stay somewhere alone so long before you get a little crazy. It's like I'm going up into the mountains, I guess now. It's going to be weird to be a little chillier. I'm now in Mammoth Lakes and it's incredible how just driving for like an hour out can make such a difference in California of weather. It's actually like chilly, like it's cold. The sun's still shining, but this area I think is known for a lot of like skiing and stuff. But I don't know. I've never like done any winter sports like that. I don't know anything about it, but I think that's a popular activity up around these areas. But I'm gonna end this video here. Uh, we had we went through a lot of different things in this video, and it's crazy to believe that it's only been like that's only been this week. Not even a week, actually. It's only been the last few days. <laughs> anyway, stay extraterrestrial. I'll see you in the next adventure. Bye.